us in person, and we're very blessed to know that we still have so many of you um, joining with us remotely via our live stream, whether on Facebook or YouTube. Um, I'd also just like a chance to say that if this is your first time with us, or if you're just visiting with us, either way, we are just very blessed, um, and we are very thankful that you have chosen to spend your Sunday morning time of worship with us here at PFUMC. But church, we have come together today. We have set aside this time to join together and worship the living God. And we're going to see that in so many wonderful ways today. We're going to all be celebrating our, our children and our youth here at the church and what they've been doing at Vacation Bible School. We're going to see some stuff with them. And I just think that we're going to be very blessed this morning. But um, here in just a moment, we'll start with a time of song and a time of worship. But first, church, I'd just like to pray over us and pray over this space. Father God, thank you for all these gathered here. All these lives represented both, both in this room and worshiping with us wherever they may be. Father God, just bless us and bless this time. Give us eyes to see and ears to hear and hearts open to whatever, whatever message you have, whatever you would say to us this morning. God will love you and pray all this in your soul, Jesus. Amen. Well, Sharon and John, we invite you to stay with us now as we begin with the talk of song.
pads there all around on the, uh, the, the chairs, the little green pads. Uh, everybody sign that, let us know you're here. But if you're visiting with us today, we'd love to get back in touch with you maybe this week. Give us your phone number, or email address. We won't share that with anyone else. But uh, we'd like to, to welcome you here and maybe answer any questions you might have. We want to also welcome our online uh, congregation that joins us uh, through YouTube or through Facebook. Please like us on both of those things and uh, subscribe uh, or get notified by uh, hitting that bell. And so we welcome you as well to this service. Now, as you see, I'm dressed a little different today because we had a great week of Vacation Bible School. And our train theme there, Jesus pulls us through uh, the, the uh, railway. And so you're going to hear a lot about Vacation Bible School this morning from the Leaders Vacation Bible School and more importantly from the Children Vacation Bible School because they're going to share some of their music and some of the things that we did this week uh, as a group. So uh, we're, we're delighted to, to conclude Vacation Bible School this week, and I just want to say how thrilled we were to have so many children join us here and so many great volunteers and leaders that gave them their time this week to help uh, plant that seed of the gospel in the lives of the, the children who came here from our community. So thank you very much. Hey, so we're moving forward now. This week we'll kind of return to more of a normal schedule week. If you've got meetings and all of that, please be aware of that. But notice that we're coming up to July the 4th. Now, July the 4th this year is on Sunday. And if you don't already have plans, be plan to be here uh, or more accurately be over there in the sanctuary at 11 o'clock for one big service we're going to have. Uh, it's going to be Freedom Sunday. We've got a Music group coming in, father and son team, James Lyndon Harvey is dad, Jim. James Lyndon Harvey is a musical phenomenon who plays uh, many different instruments, including uh, fiddle, which is a state fiddle champion, uh, banjo, guitar, gosh, like 10 others, including bagpipes. Uh, anyway, he does a variety of music, uh, great uh, presentation. We celebrate the freedoms we have in our country that day. And then, how about dinner on the ground, barbecue, right here in this building. So come and get free barbecue, uh, bring your family. We just need to know that you're going to be coming. So please give the church a call, make a reservation, uh, or send an email to Amy uh, at our church office there, and let us know that you're coming. But that's all going to be on, on July the 4th, and uh, we look forward to seeing you there. Make those plans now. All right. Happy Father's Day, Father. We'll talk about that a little bit later and have a prayer for you, but happy Father's Day. But I want to turn it over to Miss Leslie or whoever's coming up forward now. There she is, and she did such a great job this week. Thank you, Miss Leslie. You know you Thank you. around the rail yard about a rock 
squad last night? You know, that could be really, really bad, y'all. Uh, I think we need to find someone who can tell us what happened. Uh, oh, maybe this guy can help. Excuse me, do you work here? Do I work here, friends? I've been working here all the live long day. In fact, <laughs> I don't just work on the trains. I drive the trains. So they used to track. I'm an engineer on the railroad here. Oh, cool. Hi, I'm Nell. Wow, an engineer with a name like Camtrak? You must really love trains. Well, when you work with the trains as much as I do, they become a part of you. Wow, Cam, that's, that's really deep. But maybe you can help me and my friends. Have you heard something about a rock slide? You heard right. Some huge boulders fell down the mountain last night and landed right on the track. Oh no, that could really cause some problems. It can. My crew and I were supposed to take an engine down the mountain this morning. Good thing I'm here to take care of it. You really think you're strong enough to lift a massive boulder? I mean, I don't think. I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Why don't you warm up on that uh, that rock over there? Hmm? Easy. Easy, he says. Easy. Okay. Right. Let's see if we can do it. Y'all might want to stand back in case you know things go flying. playing the games in locomotion. Locomotion games, that was a very big hit. It was out here in the thousand degree heat that we had, and it was amazing. They had so much fun. What was your favorite one, do you know? They tossed wet sponges over their head, y'all. It was amazing until I went out there and they tossed one on me. It was great to me.
Oh, he said, Finn lets us have hope. So you learned something pretty amazing from Finn, right? Good job. Good job. Anybody else? Jace, I know you would. Come on. <laughs> All right, Jace, what do you want to tell us about Vacation Bible School? Um, Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Now, when we say our Bible, our, our Bible, what do we call them? Sorry? Our Bible points. When we say our Bible points, what do we say after that? So if I say, Jesus helps us be good friends, what are you going to say? Christ Jesus. Oh, let's try to do that better. Jesus helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. That was pretty good. And that was the basis for our whole week is how... Um, how we learn to trust Jesus through everything, right? We even had a moment where Miss Nell and I became not friends because I just, she beat me in a game and I didn't like that. But then we decided toward the end, we need to talk to Jesus about it. And guess what? We're friends again, right? And then we'll talk about it later whether or not I stay for friends, right? So I would like for all of you to stand up and we're going to get to do three of our songs. And if you adults would like to join us, you are more than welcome to join us doing our songs. Trusting in you. 
Alright guys, I do have to give a special shout out to this group. I'm going to step to the side so you can see them and not me. Um, this group has kept me grounded all week. They were here the week before, keeping me from being insane, helping me put things up. They stayed after every day, helping me 